Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to run XCOM 2, specifically War of the Chosen expansion pack on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac through Crossover. So this is actually the Windows version running through macOS, and this is actually going to run much faster than the macOS version, which is not very well optimized. So this is going to give you the maximum performance, which is going to be very useful as this game gets pretty hectic later on in the levels when there are a lot of enemies on screen. So today I'm going to be giving you the full crossover tutorial and getting this game to work the best on Apple Silicon hardware. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So the first step is going to be to click the link at the top of the description for my affiliate link for Crossover. If you do make a purchase through this link, then you'll be helping to support the channel and the work that I do. So once you get to the Crossover website, what you can do is scroll down and then we can go ahead and click the Buy Now button and you'll be taken to the purchase page. So what we're interested in is Crossover Plus, which is the main Crossover product. So this entitles you to the Crossover 22 license, which is the current one at the time of recording. If Crossover releases an additional in the future, for example, crossover 23 next year, then you're going to be able to get that as well. And currently the price for this is $74. However, if you type in the promo code Apple Gaming Wiki and then the arrow button, you're going to be able to get a 25% discount. Also, once you've made a purchase, you can go into your account and then go to my account here. If you click on support licenses and then renew now, and then you find your current license and click renew now, you'll be able to get $40 off your renewal price too. So if you follow the link in the description and you make a purchase or a renewal, then I'll earn a small commission and you'll be helping to support the channel and the content that I create. You can also do this renewal multiple times and renew many years into the future at a discounted Rate. However, what you can also do is go back to the main page and then click the try now button. And this is going to give you a 14 day free trial. If you do decide to make a purchase, then please make sure to follow the affiliate link at the top of the description. Here, we're going to press try now. So here we're going to enter our name and email address and then click the download trial now button. So once the file is downloaded, we can go to our finder and then we're going to go to our downloads folder. So now that we have crossover downloaded, we're going to go ahead and double click on the zip file. And once that has extracted, what we're going to do is to hold on the file itself and then drag and drop it into our applications folder and then let go. So within applications, we're going to scroll down and find our crossover application and double click. So what we're going to do now is click the install button and then we're going to install Steam. So if it's not here, then you can type it into the search bar here and then we can find the Steam button here. And then we're going to go ahead and press the install button. And this is going to install and create the bottle defaults for us so that we can get Windows version of Steam running on the Mac. So whenever a pop-up window comes up like this, press press yes, it's just installing some fonts. Here we're going to press next and accept all the terms and agreements. Just press next here and then install, press finish. So this is now the Windows Steam setup window. I'm going to press next and then we're going to install this in its default location and then press run Steam. And now Steam is downloading here and also the bottle, which is where the software is located, is also listed here as well. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and complete the Steam setup installation. So now we're going to go ahead and log into our Steam account. If you don't have a Steam account, you can create one for free here. So here Steam Guard is asking us for confirmation code. I'm going to go into my email account and then type in the one that's been emailed to me now. Then press finish. So now we'll just wait for Steam to load up. It just takes a few moments. So now the Steam software has loaded up. We can go ahead and install any Windows versions of games that we want. So here we've gone ahead and downloaded and installed XCOM 2. So if you don't already have XCOM 2, you can buy it on Steam. And this will come with both the Windows and the Mac version, so you can try both. However, we'll be launching the Windows version today. So once XCOM 2 has been downloaded, what you're going to find is that you can't necessarily launch this game straight away, because if you press play, it's going to do its first time setup and it's going to do its dependencies that are required. However, we're going to get this error message saying that the 2K game launcher has stopped working. So we're going to have to bypass this. So we're going to stop here. And what we're going to do is to add the exe file directly so that we can launch the game without the launcher. So we're going to press add game here and then add a non-Steam game and then we're going to click browse. So the location of the actual game files themselves are going to depend on where you installed the game. If you go to C drive, program files x86, go to Steam, Steam apps, and then common. And then if we double click on XCOM 2, and then we're going to find the exe file. So this works best on War of the Chosen. So if you have the original XCOM 2, I do highly recommend that you also get the DLC War of the Chosen, as this is going to be a lot more stable as well. So we'll double click on XCOM 2 dash War of the Chosen, and then we're going to find the binaries, Win64. Then we've got XCOM 2 here with the red icon, which is a little bit different from the standard blue icon. So press open here. And then this is going to add the XCOM 2 to our library here. Click Add Selected Programs. And then we have an alternate way to launch the game here, XCOM 2. At this stage, I recommend going to Properties 
and then adding some launch options. So the launch options I recommend, which I'll leave in the description, are dash no red screen space dash no startup movie space dash review. And this is going to help the game launch faster and a little bit better when running through crossover. So now that's done, what we're going to do is to press the play button and it's going to launch with those startup options and it's going to bypass the 2K launcher. So here it's saying if we want to agree to the terms and conditions, press I agree to all. And now we have XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, loaded up. So I'm going to be running this game at full screen with the graphics mode set to high, press save and exit. And then we're going to launch a new game just to show you how it runs. So I'm running this on my MacBook Pro with the M1 Max chip with 32 GPU cores, and the game runs pretty fast. It's actually running much faster than the macOS version. We're getting around 60 FPS at this beginning level. The macOS port is much less optimized, so I think this is going to be a much better playing experience overall. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.